everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. <laughs> I just want to do a, a, a quick uh, breakout session here. Um, this breakout session comes from the recent uh, financial reporting course release uh, from Enterprise DNA. This is located on Enterprise DNA online. And what I wanted to show you here, this is the resource, a very detailed resource, basically a reporting application for financial um, metrics and, and, and data. But I want to show you here just the, one of the techniques here that you can utilize <coughs> when working with these reports. And, and, and mainly this is focused on creating these template designs. Okay, So we're currently looking at the balance sheet. And uh, you'll see that the balance sheet is, is, is set up in a very unique way, if you, if you think about it. So we've got some summary, uh, so like some granular detail here, but then we've got our um, subtotals here. Or our roll-up calculations here of those individual um, uh, pieces of information, and so the main thing I wanted to show you here was how, how do you how do you actually create a table um, that looks like this, this unique look and table, and sort of um, um, you know, customize it to whatever your requirement is. Okay, obviously, um, you know, there's it's there's quite a bit that goes into building this application in its entirety, right? And so I, I'm just trying to break down a very simple, um, well, not a, not a simple technique, but a tech uh, and a concept that I run through of how to, how to do this, right? Mm -hmm. If you certain, certainly if you want to um, you know, master how to build financial reports, then then you really want to jump into that uh, full course. But I'm going to show you right now how I actually develop these particular template designs. Okay, so the first thing I do. Is I actually build the, the the design so you see this I actually build the design inside of Excel okay and you'll see I have all of these custom indentations inside of these particular rows based on how I want the template to look okay so my I've decided that I wanted my subtotal basically to look like have this much indentation so I just pushed the space bar and indented it that far and then I just made sure that everything was set out in a really um, unique way you know and you'll see here I've got another subtotal calculation which sort of just sits on its own down the bottom here and what happens in this particular report is you'll see that this actually adds up all of those unique subtotals so it's a really really unique design of a table okay there's no way to do this inside of inside of power bi without using this technique from my um from from what i know um you know i spend a lot of time actually working out how you actually do this and so um but it's cool how how, how it is possible just with a few workarounds here what i also have done is i created these common financial ratios down the bottom here as well so that's pretty cool so um, you can actually have really, really unique calculations. Well, basically whatever you want, utilizing this, utilizing this sort of like templating technique. And this is just perfect for financial reports because financial reports always have very unique look and feels, right? But they're static; they're not dynamic like you can make them inside of Power BI. And that's the cool thing about doing this work in Power BI now. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I create this. Okay, so let's let's come out here. So I've, I've brought that table into my model. Obviously, you know, modeling up everything so that it's a true application takes takes a little bit um, but um, but basically you want to get this template in and I want to show you how you can set it up okay so I've got my template in here <coughs> so I've got my balance sheet template I'm gonna grab first of all I'm gonna grab my row index okay so this was this was inside of here you'll see row index I'm gonna grab that first <coughs> gotta turn this into a table it aggregates up because it's a number so what I want to do is I want to come here and I want to go don't summarize also I don't want to sh I want to show items with no data because there is some items here I, I have spaces in my report so I want to make sure that those spaces exist okay so now that I've got my row index I then want to bring in my balance sheet items which is my template and then now I see my template design inside of Power BI <laughs> inside of a table now in a very very recent release of um, Power BI, I believe that word, word wraps are turned on automatically inside of the tables. So if they are, and you're not getting this, come down into values here and make sure word wrap is off. Also into column headers, make sure word wrap is off. Okay, just make sure the word wraps are off. That's basically it. as simple as can be. 
then it, and then it will, will work because I have I have seen an example where um, where this te this templating design wasn't actually working, uh, but that was that was the fix. Okay, so now that we've got this in here, then all we have to do you can leave the row index if you want, but basically if you go like this, just add bring that in, then you've got this template of design now all laid out, laid out as it should be inside of Power BI, and then from here it's just a matter of creating the calculations, which is another you know, pretty decent step. It's not it's not um, it's not super easy, but I I I might make a video on that as well. So certainly. Certainly check that out, but obviously it's in, in, in quite a bit more detail in the, in the full course. So if I just, I'll just go grab the calculation that I actually um, drew up. So you see here, it's, it's quite a, quite a lengthy calculation using the switch true statement, but it's not, it's not, you know, once you understand the technique, it's not, it's not super, super, under, super difficult. It's just a little bit to it, and then you drag it in, and then you're now allocating your results to that specific template, and so that's a pretty pretty awesome technique i love it i really love it in terms of the flexibility i mean you can create tables of any design now basically and allocate the values um you know to that design and that's and that's what's what's seriously cool about this whole idea around this this, this templated um, these template designs inside of power bi okay i'm going to round things off i just want to give you a bit of an idea there around how how you can do this um hopefully you can um you know, I've got your mind going and, and you can see the potential and can see how you can maybe put this into some work that you're doing. Might not be financial reporting, could be something completely different. It might just be sort of some custom table of com custom metrics that you want to put into one sort of table and it's all the same technique. Okay, so um, definitely throw the video a like if you if you like what um, if you like these ideas. Um, really love putting these out and showing you what's possible with Power BI. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. We've got got plenty of great content coming out to you all the time so so want to get that um get that to you as soon as i possibly can okay all the best take care